Yeah, hi everyone. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Wan, and I'm here to talk about the importance of plums, the leaves, the bark, as well as the seeds. So plums, as you can see on the thumbprint, is a marvelous fruit and also used traditionally. So I want to just talk a little bit more about this, especially for those who are suffering from diabetes as well as prostate cancer. The leaves are excellent in the management of diabetes because they contain some chemical structures like the tannins, the saponines, antiseptic, antibacteria, antifungal, and vitamin and a lot of things here so i'm just want to pay attention just on the aspect that interests me and which is the supplements when you consume anything that has the saponine or call it the beer taste like the beer cola it goes a long way in increasing what we call insulin sensitivity that is, um, the pancreas output increases, which is beneficial. Because most of the time, those who ended up becoming diabetic or even those who are pre-diabetic, the trouble here is the insufficient supply of insulin. And this comes as a result of the pancreas suffering. The pancreas might be in engulfed in fatty tissue and that's why it's not able to supply enough thus the output drops so that's what actually happens so if you are eating plums not only the pulps but the seed as well i will teach you also how to prepare the seed the leaves the leaves for that one you can chew it i would say do not chew more than three leaves of plums if you are having issue with your diabetes so two leaves are okay on a daily basis and that should be fine because it goes a long way to stimulate the system that is keep the pancreas kind of active or uh, render it more sensitive and this is because like i said before they contain chemical substances which we call them insaponifiable fraction and precisely phytosterols are all in there not only saponine alone so there are lots of other components there which are very important the composition contains um, a fatty acid like the triglycerides what we call the sulfur oils which is present there that's why when you put it in hot water you see oily stuff coming out which is very good also it can be used in cosmetics, say for instance, if you have broken skin. That's what we use here. Instead of you going to buy eucerin, you can also get the, the oil from the plums. It can also be used in cooking. So we are more interested here in the medicinal aspect in this case. So I will go ahead by saying that it contains 30 to 45% of palmitic acid. 20 to 30 percent of as, um, oleic acid 20 to 30 percent of linoleic acid and a little of stearic and linoleic acid so those are the key components there and they play a great role in the management of your blood sugar value having said that we now look at the, so what i said before is just what is found on the pulps of these plums. Now, if you look at the leaves and the back of the tree, the plum tree also, it is also beneficial. And I will tell you the leaves and the backs of the tree, they contain numerous um, chemical structures like the saponines, the flavonoids, the tannins here also is, a, is of higher quantity the carotenoids uh, which is a pro vitamin a the ter the the three terpenins the alkaloids 
and lots of other stuff which plays a key role in the management of diabetes. And that's why I say eat the leaves and the bags of the plum tree will do you a great job in the management of your diabetes. Whereas for those who are having trouble with their prostate, then I will say the leaves, the bark of the tree, as well as the seed. Now, how do you get all these beautiful structures from this seed? It's quite simple. You just need to put it in an alcoholic solution, solution which we, we, we call it um, percolation. Percolation is a technique we use in the pharmaceutical industry in order to obtain excipiencies and ingredients from various substances. And that's what you have to do. So you soak the seed there. And before soaking the seed in alcoholic solution, you need to chop them down also into smaller pieces like so. It now seep into the alcoholic solution and it's get ready for you to consume it and then you need to do what we call dilution because the alcohol might be highly concentrated so you need to be say 70 percent of alcohol and and 30 percent of water to make it that way a little bit marked when you've already dissolved it that's what i will say with regards to preparation so those of you having issue with your prostate please Feel free to contact me for further information and I'll be more than happy to help you. Same thing also for those who are diabetic, do same also. Those who are having broken skin, medical condition, what we call, call them um, dermatologic situations, you can equally contact me for further information. I'll be more than happy to guide you. Once more, thank you so much for listening to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Wan and have a wonderful day. Bye. Ciao.